Becker from Opinion Leader. I'd like to hand over to Charles Lister from the HFEA, the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority. The HFEA is, is a regulatory body set up by Parliament. Its role is to regulate, among other things, the, the creation of embryos for fertility treatment or for um, research, including stem cell research. Today is all about understanding the views of a broad cross-section of the public on the desirability of creating interspecies embryos for research. Embryonic stem cells are found in the very, very early embryo and they can form any of the 200 different cell types in the body. Embryonic stem cells may be able to be used to understand human embryonic development, to understand human disease processes, to develop new treatments and to test new medicines for possible adverse effects. I work on motor neuron disease and for those of you who don't know what motor neuron disease is, it's a progressive muscle wasting disorder which is due to the degeneration of motor neurons. In 20 years of research in this area we've only found one gene and yet there are probably 10 or even 15 genes that are responsible. What we really want to do is get a cellular model, a model that we can study in the laboratory in which we can screen hundreds of thousands of compounds and only take the very best compounds through to our patients. Human eggs are in very, very short supply. These are very difficult uh, experiments to do, but animal eggs are essentially unlimited. If the message is that this is completely unacceptable, then that's something we need to take back. Uh, and if it is acceptable, uh, at what level um, and what sort of work is going to be acceptable? What I'm going to do now is hand back to the table facilitators so that you can have a discussion about what you've just heard. It starts somewhere, and then the next thing, the, somebody else goes a bit further. Science, I think, is based on a slippery slope. It must be terribly tempting to go always that one, to push the boundaries step, uh, all yeah. the time. It really must be. The first step has got to be taken, but there's got to be restrictions. This process of rubbing your beliefs up against each other and trying to make your beliefs coherent, which is not easy, is, I think, our best shot at trying to work out what's really right and what's really wrong. One of the key issues is whether it's okay to be this creative as biologists, whether it's okay to actually create new sorts of organisms, or whether in some way that is playing God or doing something that's too unnatural or somehow dangerous. What were you thinking when you were listening to Peter talking? They've got to do all these things whether we like it or not. Humans come first. We surely can't go that far. We can't bet to go that far. You can say there's a possibility of going downhill with everything we do. But if we'd not taken that first step, we'd still be living in caves. As you say, it's to go forward you know, and find new cures. So I, I would sort of change my opinion now and say I'm totally for it like now. Would it end up being potentially dangerous or detrimental? to our own health, which is what we're trying to actually, no, we're trying to find cures, and could it actually have the adverse effect? There are still a lot of ifs and buts. I myself am very ill, and I feel that if the, um, the research will help us human beings to get better, um, I'm all for it. 1% animal, 99% human, which I'm fine with that but not creating one that's 50% animal, 50% human. I think there is this kind of Frankenstein's monster fear and the alarmists the monsters are using that, I think, to prevent a lot of very, very good work. We're here because we're trying to draw barriers, we're trying to draw limits, we're asking ourselves, how far should we go? How justified is it? I suggest that you need to ask much more demanding questions of the scientists who tell you, if we can do this, we'll get to this end result. We must not be intimidated by scientists. They have no more right to speak than we do, and we must question them. An embryo is not a person with human rights, but neither is it, as the scientists love to say, just a ball of cells. It's something in the middle. It's an entity which deserves respect. 
I don't see how creating an embryo purely for the purposes of research, just as a tool in your experiments, is consistent with any notion of respect. This is the part of the day that I've been looking forward to, I think, because to hear what all your questions are. Do you think that science would be best governed by scientists who have the specialist knowledge to regulate their own actions? If Josephine had a personal need for one of the cures which could come about through embryo research, how would she react? With a human chimera embryo, what benefits do the animal cells have to that already human embryo that's producing the stem cells? Why the debate so different in other countries? What do you feel about events like today? I think they're very good events because they are all walks of life. There's a lot of I've seen a lot of diversity, and I find that's a really good getting opinion of everybody. It's important. Thank you all very much again for, for participating. What you've given us today is going to be extremely useful, so thank you all very much indeed.